Moving on to the next section, that is the transaction, we'll just go to the purchase order. And mainly purchase order is used for placing orders. Here you can just set the order number and we just check whether it's cash or party. I just checked out of cash and currency I'm setting as rupee. And date I'm giving the current date and due date is the bill date we are going to pay the amount. And due dates you can see out there. And you can then just give the product details and the product code is given, name is given, quantity and the unit is also selected. So you can just see the rate and the amount and down you can see the total amount. And after that I am again setting a new product and giving the quantity same like before and unit is selected and rate just automatically it comes when you just give the quantity and unit. The amount is gone and you can see in the down what the total amount is and you can save it. So it just saved successfully. And next what we are going to do I just close it and we are just moving on to the register of the purchase. We are just go to register and just click purchase order register. The difference is that in the register you just can view whatever you have done just before you can view here. And here what you in the refresh button if you just click you just can see the details and the from date which is the date you can see and we can see men menus like that. The spending order you can see overdue and the cancelled orders you can see. And the date I am just giving the current date and the purchase order if I just double click on I just can edit it and also the product date name I just can give if you want to give any addition or updation just double click on to the order or which is the product and just giving the edit right also you can update and just update it successfully and now if you want to clear it just clear it and you want to do any updation on the rupee or everything you just can give that and if you want to delete just uh, select the row and just press delete so it will be deleted successfully and here you can see every details if, the, if anything is pending or overdue anything you can see